Hey guys, welcome back to Talk and Draw. It is Kadeem once again, and today we are working on a Charmander battling an unseen opponent in Agni Kai, just like from La Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I'm back again with my co-host, a fan that's not really cooling me down, I'm just sweating to death, and a bottle of water that is too far for me to reach. I'm having a beautiful day, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, you're about to watch me go through the process of editing and coloring this image. And I know you're like, yo, when you gonna, when you gonna, when you gonna put some color on this thing? When you, when you gonna put some color on this thing? And I got you, don't worry. There's gonna be color. We're gonna have color. It's gonna be big and flamboyant because basically, I've always wanted to do this kind of thing, right? Just design different, like, character themed things that, you know, like, you know, when you were a kid and you were just drawing whatever character you loved? That's basically what I'm gonna do here because I always, you know, if you ask anybody what's Kadeem's favorite Pokemon, it is always Charmander, you know. Even as we had new, you know, new generations and whatnot, it has always been Charmander because Charmander, you know, he's my starter. I love him and Bulbasaur, you know, because Bulbasaur is literally, I always have him help me catch Pokemon with, you know, my little corny uh, technique with its leech seed and sleeping powder. I love it. So I'm trying to keep the ink quality while keeping the, the texture feel of paper. Like it's it's a really weird balancing act where you're trying to make sure what you're doing does not look too computer generated, but at the same time you don't want it to look amateurish, you know? Um, like there's always little things in my illustrations that I gotta fix, you know, so you kind of learn really quickly how to fix the things that you need to fix. Let me see. Um, yeah. So, like, it sounds crazy. The, the, the concept of not knowing that you could do a thing. I don't know if I'm describing that correctly. Like, for instance, I've gotten better at drawing exponentially over the last year. Ooh. But, this one you gotta switch. Like, so, I went to design school instead of art school. So, I for sure know how to, I knew my way around, around Photoshop because I've been using Photoshop for over 10 years. That's not the problem. The problem is incorporating everything with, while keeping, there we go, keeping it professional, keeping it cool, correcting things, in a way, boom, yeah, so, hold on, hold on. I, I'm talking a lot, it's, with doing it live, it's really weird trying to speak while you're doing things. Oh, let me tell you how we're doing. Let me tell you how we're doing. So, I'm just messing with masks and whatnot, but first thing I'm doing is cleaning up the, the debris that I don't want, you know. A lot of the times when I was learning how to do illustration, I really didn't have a Cintiq yet. You know, you don't know how important your tools are until you have your tools and you're like, oh my lord, 
how was I doing this before? Like, I was illustrating with a mouse, okay? And to you, I mean, if you use Illustrator, God bless. Um, I've always been the type that I want to draw all my stuff by hand, you know, and then clean it up, you know. Like, I, I'm in that generation that of kids that were lazy, yet hardworking, yet wanted to do so much, yet didn't really want to do that much. Let's get rid of this. Thank God for Photoshop. I made this mistake while I was illustrating. I was going to try to play it off like I meant to do it, but it just looked like an eyesore to me now. So I just said, mm, let's just take it out. Like, so the idea was to make Charmander look as though he is battling someone from off screen, kind of evoking Zuko fighting Azula, you know? So I want it to look very action heavy, you know, a little dramatic. Sometimes when you use a certain pencil, like I used a six, I think. And it still comes out a little cloudy, a little, you know, debris every now and then. So you can either erase it by hand or you take the little lasso tool and you go where you can, get as much of it as you can, and just delete. You know, good thing when you use the um, mask, you can kind of mess around with how you clean and keep doing it. And if you mess up, you can always bring it back, you know. So I like using that a lot whenever I'm, you know, doing like editing stuff, cleaning, because then it's, it's non-destructive. Destructive meaning like if you're using the eraser, you know, if you make a thing of me, you could do control, see that? You can do control Z, but if you're doing, using a mask, it's easier to bring it back on the spot. Like when you're few actions deep like control Z is like whatever just happened I can get rid of but say if I've been painting for a while didn't realize I made a crazy mistake I erased something or I put something in I need to get rid of it with a mask you can just go back right away um, there we go usually I talk about nonsense but I don't know why I went into but it happens sometimes you'll get uh, tutorial brain Kadeem and that's okay they're the same person it is hot as a mug I'm sorry not really enjoy my singing so this is really the boring part because there's no flashy coloring yet but this part is really important to me because there's nothing worse than me getting to shading and then I see like little particles that have nothing to do with what I'm trying to do because I just stared at the whole time like what is what are you just bugs me out you know so but yeah no I've always wanted to do like a lot of fan art and I've always held back like as if I can't do it like today I drew Ryu probably gonna see that in another video I drew Ryu and I was like it wasn't how I wanted it so I'll probably do it again later but it came out so awesome you know and the only thing I regret is not um, bringing my color and pencils to Queens my color and pencil my color and markers because I you know I will you know I sometimes I choose what I want to do for the weekend like I said you know what let me do all my coloring within Photoshop instead of doing my coloring inside of um you know traditionally because you know traditional stuff is truly destructive i would never like this is why now and this is a crazy thing i charge more for traditional co uh, commissions because the traditional stuff you make a mistake you got to start over or you got to get tra like correctional fluid or something and master that Photoshop I can you know I make a mistake I could just you know go back but I I did one commission where I was drawing a robot for somebody and the mistake I made I had to try to cover it up 
You know, you had to make sure that, you know, you knew what your next move was going to be because you mess up and you might not have a way back. Mm. So this is the best part, right? So now I got it where I want it to be. I'm going to say, you're Charmander, Charmander, Char. I never forget that. They just made Pokemon say their own names. Agni Kai. My shirt is wet. Like, that's how much sweat's happening right now. So, for me, an important thing to do at this point in my journey is fix some of these lines. So, I think sometimes when you bring things over, they do what they want to do, even if you're working the way you're working, you know. I do want it to have a little graininess to it, but I don't want it to be out of control, you know. I don't want it to look out of control. I want everything to look like I meant to do it. It's like the goal in every illustration. Because the thing is, right, and the things that I really am paying attention to is like, I mean, the details that I see that I'm just like, yeah, I need to fix that like this right here. No, that's not what I want. Like, I want to see the paper texture through some areas, but some areas, no. You know, because once I color, the color is going to be intense because the Agni Kai was intense. There was nothing calm about it. So I look at the colors that I know were there, and then I'm gonna look at the colors that I know, you know, belong to Charmander. They have to be really intense and fun, because you know, Pokemon was a kid show, Avatar, you know, Last Airbender was a kid show. Even though that show is still, there were some moments like the remember Bloodbending. It's so intense, and you go, hmm. Good thing this didn't come out when I was a kid. I remember they took a break. Like, I didn't understand. I remember, as a kid, you think, like, did I make this thing up? Like, I remember them coming out with um, Shaolin Showdown. And then I remember there was a show called Avatar The Last Airbender. But they just disappeared. And then it's not like how it is now where you can just search it and then you could find, oh, there it is, they take a break. No, back in the early 2000s, you know you a show would go away and because you were doing so many other things you're like damn did i imagine that show because i ain't see it in a minute you know dragon ball z was still everywhere i was watching roni kenshin i was really mainly anime which is crazy that i'm not as much into anime now but you know except for the the main ones you know i'm like literally thinking about getting one piece for this weekend and just watching every episode but one Piece is a, is a journey. It's a journey. Um, but yeah, it's like there were shows that I used to watch back in the day and they would just vanish. And they would just vanish just because, you know, something would happen to the studio. You know, fighting Be Be Beetleborgs, there was um, the show about, there was one show about, what do you call it? Um... It was like VT something. It was these guys who were, they were like Power Rangers, except they were like car based, you know. And I really want to get the toys because they were really cool. So I, I keep thinking about them, you know. Okay. <laughs> like I never, everybody thinks Charizard's intense, but no, he's already big. Charmander is the intense one to me. Because he's so small, he's very vulnerable, so therefore, the way he's going to shoot out his power is going to be ridiculous. So because I have layers that have, you know, brightness and levels, I'm going to make my color layer on top. I name my layers because I am forgetful. Let's do this color one. First thing I'm going to start with is Charmander's color, which is the orange. You know. He has an orange. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
See, I could do multiply, but I really don't want the color to really bleed through here. That's fine. I could just do the lasso tool, but right at this moment, I want to feel like I'm coloring, you know. I know some people feel that, you know, sometimes you want to feel like you're do you're in that media that you're used to. Like I've been working on coloring with markers for a while, so I like to feel like it. I remember someone once told me I couldn't even um they were like, You can't you can't use a Cintiq or a tablet unless you know how to paint. I still like wonder why she really said that to me like I was never gonna be able to do it, like in my life. But turns out she really didn't like graphic design so she kind of was like already down on it like so no matter what the subject was she would have been like you can't <laughs> but that's you know it is what it is though you know it is what it is it was you know it was design school that kind of thing happens there but that is it's the craziest thing you know, a lot of people went to all these different internships and came back hating the field. And it was like, and like many people said before, they're like, look, it's not for the faint of heart. If you feel that you can't do it, you don't want to do it, don't do it. Get your degree and finish out and then be out. You know, you have transferable skills. You know, me, I literally went to try to teach and um, while I was teaching art well design rather I was teaching web design it would always come through like my my thought was like dang I really want to be creating the art instead of just teaching it like I'd be sitting there you know I think I asked a teacher who was she she had to me I thought she was living a life I wanted to go towards you they would say people that you see people living the life that you want to build you ask them questions so I was like hey um as a parent and as a teacher and artist, do you find enough time to be able to do all this stuff? And she's like, to be honest with you, no. She was like, teaching is a lot. And being a parent's a lot. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Thank you for your honesty. Um, as I remember, Charmander's belly is a little lighter. It's a little more yellow. But a little less orange. There we go. You know. Um... I think I could be wrong. I have a book. <laughs> I have a book. Because, hold on. I am really... So, in these videos, you will hear me literally moving around because I will look for a book that has the things in there. There we go. So, Charmander's tail... No, his body. His inner body, his belly, and his chest plate is a desaturated yellow so or rather a yellow with a darker value which means this is too bright right here so i will go over here bring this down not that down see how this looks no let's go even darker so now we go to the color picker we want to go to more desaturated go up a little bit up a little bit up a little bit because what you want is to match. I got the orange close enough. Um, oh yeah, matches. Wait, I could take it down just a little more. It's weird. <laughs> But there, you know, and I remember as a kid, seeing an artist like quit like that, like just kind of be down life would have gotten to me. But, you know, you learn after a while that sometimes your paths aren't the same, you know, you think you know what you want is really difficult, you know, but one guy was like, yo, while you don't have kids, while you don't have all these responsibilities, you know. Do do everything you want to do. You know, not that you know. Once you have a kid, you can't do anything. Is more of a. Once I do have a kid, I want to be focused on being a really awesome dad. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't want to be like, I mean, I'm still going to do certain things, but I don't want to be that dead and busy movie that never has time to play with my kids. Yeah, that line was bothering me. Okay, let's lock this layer. Because I have a habit of going back to my layers and start coloring the wrong thing on it. So we gotta go back to it. So what we gotta do now is duplicate Charmander's orange. It comes out as that. Uh, la, 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 la. What I gotta do, I have to actually. I'm doing an experimental thing, don't mind me. So, because I'm using adjustment layers, I figure that if I go back and use a non-adjustment layer, more destructive way of doing this, I can kind of mess with Okay, I know what I have to do. So because I set that last layer as my multiply, I'm gonna set this one as screen. I'm going to drop both layers down here. It's like, whoa. And then I'm gonna take this layer I'm gonna give it a mask. Oh, nope, wrong one. I'm gonna give it a mask. Okay, I'm gonna get a softer brush. Because what I wanna do is create an illusion. A lot of being a designer is about creating the illusion of like just awesomeness. You know, a lot of people think it's like, let me see. Oh, I didn't even do the eyes yet. We know where the light source is going to be. It's literally right here. So. you What you do is you erase everywhere the light isn't going to be. Crazy. I keep naming my layers because I've gone back to a couple of my projects and forgotten completely what everything was. So I go back to things, hopefully knowing exactly what it is once I name everything. Okay. Okay, now that that's done. I 
I am dripping, not gonna lie to you, but it's alright. I'm really enjoying this time that we're spending together. Um, we're gonna name this one Shadow. It's got fast. Right? And what'll happen, really, while you're doing this, like, things will change based on how you're designing everything. Um, the Shadow now will be, I think, your Multiply or your Overlay. Your multiply. Hmm. I don't like the way you look. All right, let's just try it out. <sighs> Wait. Oh. I didn't make what I was supposed to make first. It's actually working out, which is kind of crazy to me. I'm used to when I'm doing it by hand having to use cross hatching and shading to kind of show the dimension of the object but sometimes you can do it without you know okay so a couple of things are bothering me about this right now so I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to kind of That's why with sometimes I still go back and clean it even though I'm like, I want the texture. Sometimes you don't, because it looks weird in certain places. Ah, shoot. Some of these textures are staying, but some of these textures got to go. I like that stretch right there. Like I'm trying to learn to not like press down my pencil so hard. Sometimes we got to. All right, let's close this up. Let's go back to the regular color and let's color the eye. Um, Charmander always, I think. If I'm gonna look back on him again. Okay, he has a green blue eye, so you can just, you know, you go right, like right here, and just color it. Nobody's gonna know a thing except us, cause we're here together. Yeah. Happening right now. 
can blend better with a soft brush. See what I'm saying? Okay. Excuse me. So like I said, goal was to make it look like an Agni Kai. So what I'm gonna do, I gotta clean his eye. Shoot. So funny story, back in the day, I didn't even have a fan nor AC and my computer was bigger noisier and generated heat so right now this is nothing to me even though i'm still dripping but it's not as bad as it was so what you do you grab one of your tools if you know for sure that you're like look i know that when i use my pens and i'm this far away i can't get these details so i'm going to take my horse to the old town road i'm going to take my little lasso tool and then just make little illustration things and then just go along it you know do as much as I can you know yeah, I wasn't gonna do the whole thing but I'm like look I don't even know how long I've been going for that's why I usually set a timer sometimes I just go with the flow which is very dangerous because I can spend a bunch of time on these. My wife looks at me like, uh, baby, can you just wrap it up? And I'm like, wrap it up? There's at least 20 more hours left in the day that we can do illustration. Okay. So, took the color of his eye because we want to be, like, romantic about it. Okay. Oh, this is when I know what I got to do. I, I was like, let me not clean it. And now I got to go back and clean it. See? That's what happens when you try to skip out on some of the work. Oh, well. Oh, let's do it the opposite direction. Because then I can do things like this. I'm not sure you wanna see. Oh, I didn't connect it, did I? Shoot. That was color balance. I pressed the wrong button. Silly buttons. I made this a poster later so I can have it. Probably should have made it bigger before I started. Oh well. But this is the best thing about this field is that you can ju just keep doing stuff that you want to do. No one can really be, you know, unless someone's the boss, you they can't really be like, no, you can't create that. You can't sell it. <laughs> like question mark. You can't. You're not supposed to sell your fan art, but. You can sure make it because guess what? It's your skill. Oh, duh. <clears throat> so now what I do is I go around and you gotta pretend like you know what you're doing. You know, because if your illustration doesn't know that you don't know what you're doing, you'll be fine. Charmander's like, I'm sure Kadeem has everything under control. I'm like, sure does, Charmander. Sure does. I do have everything under control except for that cramp in my leg. That cramp in my leg is tormenting me. I can't even understand what did I do to deserve this, but boom. That's just the first part. It's a way to make it work, but I don't want it.
Like there are clear ways to avoid the trouble with this. You know, like I can literally just draw everything from scratch or draw everything inside the computer completely instead of trying to ink, you know. But this is worth it for me to feel the lines that I made and do the things that I want to do. You know, you got to sacrifice a little bit of your time to clean. I guess we could fast forward through this part, huh? Okay, so at this point, <laughs> it's chaos, but it's still, I'm having fun, so you gotta, you know, you just keep going. Let's do BF Blue Flames 3. Now we start, you know, beefing up Charmander's Blue Flame. Um, what I always do, I like to look for references, so I'm gonna go to Google real quick because I need to understand Azula's. Here we go. So you gotta look at it to really understand it. So it's more of a light thing with dark. Dark outlines, light inside. And then dark inside. Okay. Here's how we gotta do it. So we got a sample. Real dark. But we gotta do it right. Gotta do it right. Get the soft brush. Do it over. See, this just looks like that. Not too dark. Right. See, here's the crazy thing about this, right? I 
I think because the way it's sampling the color makes it look gross. Hmm, because it's like instead of being. Let me see. Go back to the original. You go here. Right? And then it's a mix. So you have to keep mixing it to make it make sense. At this point, you're like, what fresh hell is this? Right? Now, here's the crazy thing that's going to happen now, right? You got this, you go back to having a hard brush because it's the thing that makes sense the most. Get your hard brush. The hard the thing about hard brushes is that it details things. It does the outline. The soft brush can just make things. What's the word? It makes things feel more like an effect. You know. There's gonna be a clear distinction in the flames, you know. The differences. make it work you have to mix all the different types of blues at the same time to make it feel like it's chaos happening you know
something you somehow have to bring sense to the freaking chaos, right? Okay, here's the next thing, right? So now we gotta give it a background that it deserves. The background has to blend in, yet distinguish itself at the same time. So, hmm. Take my last little tool. And I'm, wee. I didn't know that still grabbed things. Wow. Oh yeah, because it's gonna be in the background. So you really won't see it, but we're gonna give it a background of like, just craziness. Like dark craziness. Seeing as, hmm, that's what I need. I need a, a point of reference. See, a lot of these, there we go. Yeah, I'll do that. You gotta play around with it until you find something that you like. So, I'm going based off of based off of um, all the way through. Oh, yeah, go up one. I gotta color those things. Going based off of basically what was happening with Azula's background. You know, let's, let's do the favor. Basically, I'm painting the background behind him white, just so that colors out. But I'm going to sample just a bit of the yellow I'm gonna get my soft brush make that brush big and let that brush oh shoot that brush do whatever it wants to do
And then maybe something that no one's going to really notice. So no one's going to stay looking at the ground. It's not what you want to look at. But you do want to do something to make it, you know, feel like it's part of the thing. Hmm. Okay, so, so far, I know that I have to go back. I know what I can do to make it better. But I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.